Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from our Bespoke Post series. I've got a, another package in today, and as you can see, it is a fairly uh, small package. Uh, this one is actually called the Tamed Kit. Alright everybody, well here we go. As you can see, uh, there are a lot of uh, little products here, some slightly bigger ones, some smaller ones and everything. If you haven't guessed already, this is of course about shaving. So of course we're talking about sh uh, taming and you know, obviously shaving your face and taming those uh, wild and unruly hairs that we have that uh, kind of come out to be our beard or mustache or anything. Uh, now, of course, there is the card that we're going to start off with, and we'll just read the, uh, the little caption on the back. It says, take your time and shave the old-fashioned way. And then, of course, it has a breakdown and some information, a little bit of a story kind of thing. Uh, it tells you a basic how-to and uh, just a little bit of other information. It also does have uh, kind of the information, the name of all the stuff that's in the box. Uh, now... As you can see, we do have about uh, six things total here. We'll just kind of start here and work our way around. And as you can see, most of these things are Hawkins and Brimble uh, is the uh, company that these are provided by. This is the uh, Elm or Elmi, Elmi and Ginseng, and this is an aftershave balm. Uh, and uh, so obviously, I mean, you guys, most guys know what an aftershave balm is. Uh, I, I've used other ones, uh, other products um, before. It's good for, of course, kind of cooling the skin and everything and conditioning the skin after uh, irritating it from doing the shaving. Uh, running a steel blade across your skin is not necessarily the most comfortable thing in the world for it. Uh, it may not necessarily hurt, but it's not necessarily... Uh, good for the skin itself. Uh, now I'm not sure what Elmi E L E M I uh, is exactly, but of course we do know what uh, ginseng is. Uh, so there we go there, and that is. Uh, let's see. This is a. Um, I'm not seeing it on the front here. So look at the back. This is a tube, and this is. Uh, 125 milliliters which equals out to about 4.2 um, fluid ounces and then we have uh, right here we have the shaving cream uh, now of course most people uh, a lot of guys we use uh, shaving gel or uh, shaving foam usually a gel will work up into a foam uh, for those of you who have used a whisk uh, brush before the uh, the horsehair type brushes or something like that uh, you may have used uh, the shaving soap that you work up into a lather using, of course, the uh, the uh, hot hot water and uh, and the soap and mix it all kind of up there. This one, as you can see, is a cream, and that will condition the hair and uh, make it nice and soft and supple to uh, to shave and everything. That's actually what all of that is for: is to soften the hair and make it easier to uh, to cut. Uh, now we do have the uh, face wash and again uh, this is also the Elemi and ginseng. Uh, of course this is uh, you know obviously Hawkins and Brimble that's what the majority all these uh, kind of products right here that's what they all are. Uh, the size of this is actually five fluid ounces which is uh, 150 milliliters uh, so of course we've got a, uh, a good face wash there uh, now we do have this right here this is glider g-l-y-d-e-r uh, and this is basically it looks like a tube of chapstick and for all intents and purposes it kind of is except for the fact that when you nick yourself you um, want to kind of, you want to, of course get yourself to stop bleeding and everything like that and that's actually what uh, what this is for uh, these are generally used to uh, kind of go over that it creates a, uh, a blockage sort of like a temporary band-aid uh, instead of doing the old uh, taking a piece of tissue paper and sticking it to your face uh, of which you could forget later um, this is just basically kind of very similar to a clear 
um, lip balm or something like that. But of course, this is made specifically for uh, using uh, to kind of treat your face as needed. Now, we have the last two here. They actually come uh, and they are... Uh, basically they work together I mean of course all of these things work together but uh, we have the straight edge razor but the funny thing is is this is not an actual straight edge razor as you can see I can run my finger across here that is not going to cut me uh, the reason being is this is actually the holder uh, now of course this does work just like the standard straight edge razors you do uh, I hold it this way I know some people do just the uh, the pinky that way there are some different hand holding techniques I prefer to have just the two fingers um, when I have uh, done this before a little bit myself uh, if you guys are not sure about shaving with a straight edge razor like this definitely go look it up uh, do some Google of course you can check out any of the other guys that are out there on YouTube they of course do have videos out there that show you proper techniques for this and now this is actually by classic necessity uh, and you have the uh, basic instructions here uh, shows you how to utilize it and that is utilizing it by using these blades right here these are of course uh, this is shark brand and these are the straight edge razor blades uh, you can see they are placed inside of a kind of a safety sleeve here. Uh, then we go ahead and uh, open it up. And this is the very old fashioned style as you can see where it's a double blade. It doesn't have that safety edge on the back end where uh, like some of them where they use them to scrape uh, or as a scraper for uh, different things. Um, like for using on glass or something like that. This is the very thin, uh, very, you know, very delicate, but of course also very, very sharp. These things will glide and, and cut very, very cleanly and very, very easily. So you do have to be very careful with these. Uh, it shows you, of course, how to uh, put this in and let's go ahead and do that. We're going to uh, open this out and uh, then what we do is this is actually a pivot on the back we open this we will then uh, oh it actually then separates out so we kind of spread it apart a little bit and then open it up so as you can see here we have it opened up um, and uh, you have this is the back piece that kind of clamps it all together and then you've got one side and then the other side. All right, so uh, according to the way this is shown on here, you actually uh, take the blade and you're only going to use the one, you're only going to use one side of the overall blade. So there is a line uh, right here on either end and uh, you snap it at that point. So just be very careful in doing that. Uh, then you take the blade, you fit it so that uh, the two little grooves, one here and one here, uh, line up with the two little notches right there on the uh, piece here. You then slide this over, making sure, of course, everything kind of fits into place there. Be very, very careful. Again, of course, this is very, very sharp. Um, so it's a little, little bit awkward honestly to uh, kind of get lined up and everything but then once you've got it all lined up you go ahead and snap your piece back down and now we have a nice uh, razor shaving uh, edge right there and uh, that is of course ready to shave with um, we'll go ahead matter of fact we'll just do a little yep and this takes I'm putting like no pressure whatsoever on this and that is taking my me down to baby smooth this is this is uh, super smooth so uh, anyhow we've got uh, that all set up and uh, you keep it closed everything is uh, fairly safe and everything and uh, it is very nice I do like it um, I, the way the blade goes in there that's a little bit uh, 
in my point of view, a little bit sketchy. Um, so it, not used to dealing with it that way. It, it does seem kind of, I would like where I'm not close to the blade when I'm trying to get it to insert because it feels like I've actually got to push against the blade part to get it to push in there. Um, that's a little bit awkward uh, in my point of view, but uh, you know, maybe with a little bit of uh, practice changing it a couple of times and things like that, I'm sure that will, uh, you know, I'll get used to it and, and uh, not be quite so fidgety with it. But uh, if you guys want to check this out, you can uh, go down there in the description below. We will, of course, have a link to the bespokepost.com site. And, uh, of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out our social media. Uh, and on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as hitting one of our subscribe buttons either in the corners there or down there below the video as well as that bell icon. And, uh, you know, if you haven't gotten subscribed already, make sure you do that. Hitting that bell icon will let you get notified, of course, of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is the World of Me and another episode from the Bespoke Post series. Uh, I'd like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.